fabric masks should consist of at least three layers of different material. Details of which materials we recommend for each layer are in the guidelines. We also provide guidance on how to wash and maintain a fabric mask. Our guidance also explains how to use a mask safely. People can potentially infect themselves if they use contaminated hands to adjust a mask or to repeatedly take it off and put it on without cleaning hands in between. Masks can also create a false sense of security, leading people to neglect measures such as hand hygiene and physical distancing. I cannot say this clearly enough. Masks alone will not protect you from COVID-19. Masks are not a replacement for physical distancing, hand hygiene, and other public health measures. Masks are only of benefit as part of a comprehensive approach in the fight against COVID-19. The cornerstone of the response in every country must be to find, isolate, test, and care for every case, and to trace and quarantine every contact. That's what we know works. That's every country's best defense against COVID-19. WHO will continue to provide the world with advice based on the most up-to-date evidence as part of our commitment to serving the world with science, solutions, and solidarity. I think when I was reading the presser, I said 40 years and above, and uh, it has to be corrected as 60 years and older. And sorry for that. I will read again that part of my statement. In areas with community transmission, we advise that people aged 60 years or over or those with underlying conditions should wear a medical mask in situations where physical distancing is not possible. Thanks again. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Tedros, for these opening remarks. Uh, we will be sending the updated guidance on the use of masks uh, to our global list uh, as soon as it gets published, as well as some accompanying material.